Yeah, that's right. Keenan and Alicia recently the House and Senate passed the budget for Michigan with a surplus of $3 billion. 1 million will go towards a study looking at a passenger train from Ann Arbor to Traverse City. And actually, this is phase two of a study. It's a long drive. Sometimes it's, you know, good to be in a train moving around and stuff like that. I don't, don't get up to Traverse City all that often, and sometimes it is because, like, the long drive and everything, so it might be cool just to have a little trail doing that for us. It's this type of excitement lawmakers and those conducting the study into a train from Ann Arbor to Traverse City are looking to conjure up. We haven't had passenger rail to that area since the 1960s. Jim Brook Brower is the transportation director for the Groundwork Center for Resilient Communities based out of Traverse City. In 2018, the nonprofit did a study looking at potential ridership numbers, track conditions, and operating costs. Groundworks is now tasked with phase two of the study. The next step is to really look at, okay, now that we have all these, these options and these uh, potential scenarios out there, how will train service actually look? Like what is really, what is the, the actual train service going to look on a, on a day to day basis and within the, the communities? A potential passenger rail would use the tracks already in place with the hopes of speeds of at least 60 miles per hour and the potential for stops in between, like at Central Michigan University. It could not only benefit just Traverse City's economy, but Ann Arbor's as well. For example, Northerners coming down to AA to watch the Michigan Wolverines play football in the fall. Upgrades to the track will be needed. At the time of the 2018 study, the upgrades were estimated at $150 million. Any improvements that we make, any investment in the rail itself, automatically benefits freight rail and the potential for more passenger service. Senator Wayne Schmidt from Northern Michigan says it could be cheaper since some upgrades have already been made, and he doesn't anticipate it would cost people any new money in taxes. As we see the increased cost of fuel and more people wanting to use different forms of transportation beyond their cars, it seems like a great time to start the discussion again. The governor does still need to sign the budget, which does include the million dollars for this study. If she does sign the budget, the study would happen in 2023. So, you know, get, get your cherry picking baskets ready. <laughs> <laughs> but that would save so much time. Oh, I know. Just make it so much easier to get there. Yeah, oh, my gosh. Train to bus now it takes like nine hours. Yeah, you can fall asleep on the train. Perfect.